Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. God's blessings be upon you. And government is distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor and privilege to deliver the national statement of my country, Somalia, at this council, at this crucial COP27 in Egypt. I thank Egypt and President Abdul, si Abdul Fattah Sisi, as well as all other international partners for bringing us together in this, for bringing us together, sorry, to, to discuss what can only be described as the greatest challenge facing our world today. All the available scientific evidence across the world clearly shows that temperatures and sea levels are rising and droughts and floods are increasing. Food security is weak and climate-induced conflict over resources like water and livestock pasture are common, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, which is dealing with one of the worst droughts in the modern history. The presence of so many leaders in this meeting today gives me a confidence that not only is the issue of climate change being taken seriously internationally, but that during COP27, genuine plans and strategies will be negotiated, agreed, and implemented quickly to ensure we mitigate and adapt to its costly destructive effects across the world. In 2022, over 800 million people, majority, from, majority of them from Africa are food insecure. In Somalia, over 7 million people cannot meet their basic food needs and require urgent humanitarian assistance. We need to ask ourselves, why are we here after 26 years? The answer is one, and it is climate change and conflict. What's evident is that there is no equity or fairness in global climate burden sharing because the nations who produce the least green, green, gas house, green gases emissions like Somalia pay the highest price twice. First, their citizens do not benefit from the developing nations' industrialization and their own nations usually have Ugorenti Moadinita Somaliet, Marna Kamafa Idestan, Kirka, Urshadaha, Dalalka Hormare, AC Dayan, Taso, Aukento, Debato, and Haga, Deganka, Wahana Kardasha, Akabado, Abartu, I come at Tahai. In Somalia, we are most vulnerable to climate change. Climate change is a political security economic challenge for us and we are taking it very seriously in this regard we have dedicated an, a new ministry and launched a new somalia green initiative to address the matter head on si an uga shaqeyno arimaha deegaanka iyo cimilada waxaynu abuurnay wasaarad cusub oo dhanka cimilada qaabilsan iyo deegaanka وحينا مركزي لا تعالى يساعد باتوين كدنا على إثبات الكلمات أو سماليا نسامينا كل التي تسالها دنا عبارت حتى كجرت سماليا وحلا أنا نيا قب كمدا إثبات الكلمات كملذا أتون كتاجن وحيابها كلا لقد نحلى إثبات الكلمات كملذا ذلك سماليا وحال كمدا عن تجريدا أو كنت عبارت تبدراتي because of the ongoing drought as a direct consequence urbanization abarta hada ka jirta dalka somaliya wa natiijada ee saameynta isbeddelka dhanka cimilada wuliina waa ay taagan tahay climate mitigation and adaptation oo degista dhibaatooyinka dhinaca cimilada waa mid si degdeg ah loogu baahan yahay si nolosha dadka dib loogu soo celiyo tani waxay u baahan tahay including accessible grant based financing resources badan maalgelin iyo adkaysiga including 
water management or a cabinet to high mammal kadanka biaha energy this is vital then i expect the camilla that in the flag of to at least developing nations like somalia are still struggling aan hormar ka gaaray sida Soomaaliya oo kale waxay la daalan dhacayaan aqabada kale oo ay ka mid tahay COVID-19 ka iyo dhinaca amaanka ba waxa taas sii dhaa national regional and international climate early warning systems digniinaha dhinaca isbeddelka cimilada ee dhibaatooyinka waa kuwa heer gobol iyo kuwa caalami ahba waxaana loo baahan yahay si dhaqso ah in loola qabsado Soomaaliya waxay leedahay xeebta ugu dheer ee qaaradda Afrika waxaan isku dayna inaan dib u dhisno qaranka wali waxaynu aragnaa mustaqbal wanaagsan waxaan u leenahay qeyraad aad u baaxad leh si kastaba waxyaabaha sida degdega looga baahan yahay ee talaabooyinka wax ka qabashada cimilada iyo hoos u dhigta dhinaca cimilada waxa ka mid ah in la wajaho xaqiiqda dhabta ah xilligan aynu ku gudbi jirno ee qarniga 22aad for these distinctions climate change is complex and it is going to and it's not going to magically disappear isbeddel ka dhinaca cimilada ee dhibaatooyinka ka dhashay waa kuwa aad u waaweyn mana muuqato inay markaasii hoos ay u dhacayaan waxay u baahan tahay talaabo wada jir ah oo degdeg ah iyo midnimo in la muujiyo oo la wajaho aqabadahan kalaamidka ama dhinaca isbeddelka cimilada adduunka waxaan idin kaga mahadcelinayaa dhageysiga qodbadeeda mudaniyaal iyo marwooyin it is now my pleasure to